friends and welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I thought it'd be fun to paint this watercolor flamingo. So go, go grab your paints and your paper and let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is activate your paints. And the way you do that is to spray some water in the paint. That just gets it mixing. Okay. Now this flamingo is pretty basic. I'll put it on right there so we can see it a little bit. And I'm just getting my brush wet. I do not have the color pink in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some red, put it on the side, and then add more water to it. That just waters it down, okay? And the first thing we're going to want to do is paint the body shape. So that is an oval. Now if that's looking too red, just add a little touch more water in there. And the back comes down and adds a little bit of tail back here. So it's basically kind of a football shape with a tail. Now if you notice, I added some bluish purple in there. So I'm just gonna very lightly take some purple and I'm gonna paint a wing with some feathers, and that will just kind of spread out. So it's a technique called wet on wet. So it'll be really subtle. All right, next I'm going to paint the neck. So to do the neck, it's like an S. We're gonna start at the bottom and curve up and around. Now, if you want to, you could draw this in pencil first, um, if you're not that confident of a painter. But if you want, you could just use watercolor and you won't even need to draw the pencil marks on there. But just remember, if you have pencil marks on there, you want to erase them before you paint really light. You don't want them really dark. Okay, and then a little curve here for the head. Great. Now, I'm gonna get a smaller brush. And if you notice, my brushes have a tip. These are watercolor brushes. I suggest getting some um, versus having a straight across um, end to your brush. So again, we're gonna use the pink. And we're gonna do one leg, and flamingos have very long, skinny legs. We're just gonna draw one all the way down. I'm gonna add two toes and then a little one in the back. Okay, now the next one, we're gonna go back up, we're gonna go down part way, and then we're gonna go forward. Okay, and then spread that out, make three toes. Oh, he's looking cute. Now the beak, the beak is black, okay? Now you may want to wait to paint the beak Till the pink is dry because if you touch the black to the pink it will smear together but I'm gonna see if I can just leave a little gap and if you notice the beak it kind of goes down at an angle and then kind of slanted line and pull it back up and the tip of their beak is black flamingos are really Kind of odd looking birds, but they're really pretty. Okay, now I'm not gonna do the eye yet because that's still wet. So while that's drying, I'm gonna get my big brush and I'm gonna do the background. So we're gonna take a little bit of blue and we're just gonna paint some water. Make sure you don't touch the legs. If you touch the legs, they'll blend together with the water. Now, if, if your blue's too dark, just add a little more water. And that'll give you a nice light blue. Now I'm gonna take a little green. I'm gonna mix a little green in this water. Watercolors are so fun because they kind of blend together. Add a little bit in there. Blue in there. 
Now I could let the legs dry a little more and then paint the background. It's up to you. Okay. Now I'm gonna also add a little bit of grass. I'm gonna pull the grass up from the bottom. That. Now I'm gonna add some very light brown. In the background so it's gonna be like the maybe the sandbar in the background or the land but you can make it however you want and now I'm gonna take really light blue so I just take a dab of blue and add more water and I'm gonna put it in the background so it's not as bright so this would be like a horizon line. Notice I'm trying not to touch, leave a little bit of white between my flamingo. And if that bothers you later when it dries, you can, you can touch it up with some more blue. Good. Now the only thing we need to add is the eye. So I've got a small brush. I'm gonna just add an eye right near And I'm just going to add a little bit of black to the legs just to add a little bit of difference. They pop out a little bit more. Now if you get it too dark and you don't like it, just blot it up like that. And there you have it, a flamingo to brighten a sweet summer day. I hope you had fun today. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, Little Woods Art, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.